What's new, Pucker Crew? It is your turn, Crawbat here, and I am bringing you another Wi-Fi battle now today. I am bringing a whole new team for you guys. But before I even introduce my team, I want to let you guys know that I want you guys to, you know, go into my description, click on the links for the Pokemon group. So, Pokotasm, your turn, love. And I will add a couple new groups in there. They are the Omega Experience and the Enlightened League. So make sure you definitely, definitely go check them out. Make sure you show them some U-turn love. Make sure you show Poketown some U-turn love. That would be perfectly fantastic. <laughs> um, so like I said, I am bringing a whole new team. Um, this is my very, very first team um, or my very, very first battle with this team, um, and I am bringing the battle against Stu, I am bringing my Arcanine, my Alakazam, Tangirl, Noivern, Blissey, and my Big Beedo, my Hunchcurl. So let's get right into the battle, and let's see what this battle, you know, can bring, because this was, uh, like I said, my very first battle, and so I was pretty excited, pretty excited, um, yeah, I don't know, so... He goes out into his mansion, and I go into my Balkanine, my Arcanine, because I want to try, you know, get that Intimidate off. I want to just try and lower its attack as much as I can, because I know how, um, how fearsome Manchows can be, because I have one. So, I end up using my Protect, just kind of scouting it to see what it needs to do. So, it was going to go for the Fake Out, but luckily for me, it did not hit me. So, he ends up knocking my Leftovers off, which is unfortunate, because I do... Kinda, you know, I need those. <laughs> um, but I end up getting the Willow up on the Manchow because I want to try and get some damage off as I, as much damage off as I can. Um, right here, I'm not trying to, um, I am not trying to, you know, stall. The reason why I did protect, however, was because I want to try and get more damage off on him. So when I use my Flare Blitz, I want to try and just take it out with one shot, you know, because I do not want this Manchow staying in any longer than it has to. So he, end, he ends up getting a Drain Punch on me and getting some HP recovery from that, but it doesn't really help him all that much, only because I do get my Flare Blitz off and I take out the Mancha right there, which is what I wanted to begin with, because I don't want to put up with, um, you know, like a, a wide lens or whatever, a Mancha. That would be horrible. So he ends up going out into his Steve, his Darmanitan. And at this point, I know I'm not going to be able to do anything, so I switch out. And I end up going out into my Noivern. Um, and the funny thing is... I haven't really faced Darmanitans a whole lot, um, only because, I mean, I have one, and I use it, and I know what moves mine knows, but I just haven't really faced tons of Darmanitans, so I just kind of forgot what they knew, so when he used Rock Slide on my Noivern, I was like, oh, oh, well, that sucks, you know, because I forgot, and same thing here, he ends up using the superpower on my Blissey, and obviously, you know, despite my Blissey um, having that huge, huge defense advantage, um, she is um, able to go down to the superpower because she is weak to fighting. And so that just left me there, you know, thinking, oh, well, now I know what moves it knows, you know, so that's rather unfortunate for me. So I end up going out to my Alakazam to kind of like scout it, to kind of scout the Darmanitan, to kind of see what it'll do, so I end up switching out into my Balkanine, my Arcanine, to get the Intimidate off for one and two, because I knew that he was going to use a, you know, like a Flare Blitz or some Fire Move, and I knew my Arcanine would be able to take that pretty damn well. So, with that being said, he just hit me with that, and you know, I'm not going to really go down to that at all, so he ends up you turning out, and that does not do much to me, I mean, it does leave me at 45 HP, which is rather unfortunate only because now some Pokemon can just come in and just wreck my face and I have a pretty face I don't want that getting wrecked so he ends up going out into a Swellow and this Swellow kind of surprised me because well you'll see here in a second so I end up using the Morning Sun just to get my recovery up just to get my HP up because I know what moves this Swellow may know and so I don't I did not want to go down to any of its moves So I end up using the protect after it gets burned from the flame orb or for my willow actually sorry And he ends up using the facade, but it does not do anything to me because you know I use protect So I can't use protect again unfortunately, which is whatever But he ends up using the facade and it does not take me out. Um, I was pretty lucky that it did not take me out Granted, I am a pretty bulky Arcanine, but you know the um at this point, I forget. The Willow, the Flame Warp, whatever, just powers its attack. So I was really lucky that I did not get taken out with the facade. So I ended up 
you know, just dying from my own recoil, and he ends up going on just ammo pump. Um, this ammo pump is rather troublesome. Now, a lot of ammo pumps are troublesome because they know, you know, the fake out and um, the life orb and everything. So he ends up using the fake out on my big veto, and that sucks because I flinch, and so I don't want to stay in. Um, but I know that. I could probably just get away with the Sucker Punch, and I'll probably just risk it, so I end up using the Sucker Punch, and I do end up getting him down where I can just try and um, take him out with another Sucker, so I am a Life Orb Honchcrow, so that's one reason why I did so much damage to the Amapom, and unfortunately for me, I end up going down, <laughs> as you can see my Moxie gets up, but you know, it's not going to help me any, because I do end up going down to my own re Life Orb Recoil, which sucks! But, it's whatever, you know? So, he ends up going on to his Jolteon. And then I'm going on with a Tan... I end up going out into my Tangrowth. Because I know that my Tangrowth can take any moves this Jolteon can throw at me. Um, and I know I can at least try and get some damage off on the Jolteon. Which is what I want. Because Jolteons are so f fast, you know? And they're pretty threatening depending on what moves you put on it. So, I end up using the EQ on the Jolteon. Because I don't want... You know, I wanted to go down. <laughs> I don't want the jolt down staying alive any longer. <laughs> because, you know, it's just gonna kill me. So, he ends up sh uh, shadow balling me. And I end up using the knockoff, not that it really matters. But I take the jolt down out right here. Um, and as you can see, um, he does. Um, he does go down and he was holding the, uh, the bright powder. Um, I'm not really sure what that does. Because my jolt down does not know bright powder. So, I have no idea what, uh... Right, powder does to a Jolteon. So, huh, maybe you guys can tell me. But at this point, I'm just gonna leave my Tangrowth in just to sack it off because he was able to get the Jolteon out uh, down, and so that's basically all that I needed it for. Um, not, I mean, my Tangrowth can't really do a hell of a lot to any of his other pokes. So, I end up just sacking him off right there because I know that I can just go into my Alakazam or, um, you know, just. Try and take the Steve out, the Starmanitan out. Um, so I end up Mega Evolving, and I try, and I end up going up for my Psychic because I know, I know now that this, when this Starmanitan is so low in HP, that my Psychic uh, plus a Sheer Force will just be able to uh, take it out. So, and that's awesome for me because I don't want to put up with Steve any longer. Steve just has been, he hasn't been horrible, but he's just been kind of annoying. So. <laughs> Um, he ends up going out into his own Alakazam, and unfortunately for him, I will outspeed, only because he is not Mega Evolve, so a Mega Alakazam is faster than, you know, normal Alakazam, and I will outspeed here and get the Signal Beam off, um, taking down his Mega Alakazam. Now, the thing is, I was, at that point, I was just really, really nervous, like, I, I was coming off um, a losing streak with my former team, and so I was just really, really worried, you know, that I was not going to uh, outspeed, but luckily I do! Luckily I do, because if I had not, I I would have, I probably would have curled up in a ball and, and, and cried, so. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this battle, because this was a great great first battle with my new team um and i really 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 want to let you guys know that um this team is going to be sticking around for a little while because this is probably one of my favorite teams so with that being said i want you to guys i want you guys to go into my description click on the links for uh the pokemon groups there on facebook and twitter and, and whatever else and just do it and so, I also want you guys to RCS to me, rate, comment, and subscribe, I mean it. Just kidding. But still, RCS, that would be awesome. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Like I said, hope you enjoy the battle. Have a great, great day. Peace. I did not want to take that chance. Now, I get the uh, waterfall off. On the table, which is awesome, and I do get my speed boosted tons.